Talk TV host Piers Morgan has once again taken the opportunity to aim a swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after their Netflix documentary was nominated at the 2023 Hollywood Critics Association TV Awards this week. Piers Morgan, who is known to make digs about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry on social media, made a sarcastic quip about the couple today in a mock, congratulations, message. This week. It was announced that the pair's divisive Netflix show Harry Meghan had been nominated in the category of Best Streaming Nonfiction Series at the 2023 Hollywood Critics Association TV Awards. Piers, who was an outspoken critic of the documentary when it was released, has taken another opportunity to send an insult their way. The 58-year-old former Good Morning Britain host shared news of their nomination yesterday in view of his 8.5 million Twitter followers. Above it, he added the caption, Many congratulations to Meghan Harry on being nominated for an award for trashing their families on TV. Truly heartwarming, he added with a sarcastic prayer emoji. Other shows up for the award include Prehistoric Planet 2, Rain Wilson and the Geography of Bliss, Renovations, The 1619 Project and The Reluctant Traveler with Eugene Levy. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex released their hotly anticipated documentary series in December last year. Sparking some controversy due to claims they made about the royal family. Netflix's description of the documentary reads, From their courtship to their exit from royal life, Harry and Meghan share their complex journey in their own words in this docuseries. The series included many previously unseen moments in the couple's life, from the way they met on Instagram, to Meghan's weird introduction to the late queen, to their secret romance prior to the relationship being announced. The subsequent release of Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, proved to be much more divisive due to the many shocking revelations it held. One big reveal was that Prince Harry had lost his virginity to a much older woman, while in another part of the book he claimed himself and Prince William had gotten into a physical altercation.